So good to see you. So I'm Matt. So uh, my real name is Matsumoto Ikihiro, but it's quite difficult, difficult to pronounce right in and even speak for, from English speakers. So just call me Matt. So I'd like to talk about the, the, the bit of the world's future and the, the M M M Ruby, which is an autonomy implementation of Ruby language. So, you know what? What is the latest version of Ruby? <laughs> yeah, one and three. So a few days ago, we released, finally released one and three, which is very good. So it's the most stable one nine. So in in history, the previous uh, first two versions of Ruby one nine was a bit free, freaky. So since the, the changes we made from 1.8 to 1.9 was so big, so 1.9.0 was uh, a little bit un unstable. But it was two years ago. So we made a big effort to improve the 1.9. So the, the final 1.9.3 was the most stable version of 1.9. So, so how many of you are using 1.8, 1.7, say? Many people in this side. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to do <laughs> <laughs> Just because, you know, the, we uh, dis disclose the, the maintenance plan for 1.8, so we are going to start adding well, we already made a decision to stop adding new features to 1.8, so we are, we are no longer uh, developing 1.8. And uh, we are going to stop the fixing bugs on 1.8 in next June 2012. And uh, we, we will keep the, the security fix until uh, June 2013. So, uh, so in a few years, so you, the one A, will die completely. <coughs> so let's move on now. So one is far better. It's fast. <coughs> so it's a few times faster than one A. And uh, the, since uh, the server side applications, server side systems, long running processes, the memory is the most important the issue. Since the the actually the performance of the virtual machine is not really the issue, but the memory is the biggest issue. So we improved the, the garbage collector for one one nine two and three. So we introduced the lazy sweeping in one and three, which is uh, so the Ruby's garbage collection is a mark and sweep. So it marks everything, every live object. Then correct, say it sweeps the dead object that, and recycle them as a new object. But sweeping is yeah we we since one one nine three we sweeps lazy to reduce the pause time of garbage collection. So you can expect the more what less latency in 193. Besides that, we also add the garbage push parameters for garbage clusters, as as in the Ruby Enterprise Edition. Like so that we can you can configure Ruby garbage collector to how much memory it allocates at the at the beginning. Or how much memory, uh, how much uh, memory interval, interval to to reclaim the, the memories, <coughs> so so that you can default uh, default the, the garbage collection or utilize the huge amount of memory from the beginning. So it's time to move on to one, one So, one thing, 
since one and three, it's so good. So we decided, we decided to start, uh, we decided to give up one and development no longer and start developing Ruby 2.0. So I, I expect one and three to be the last version in one nine. So the next, the official version release will be Ruby 2.0. And then I, we decided, we, we discussed the heavily, and then we decided to not to make a, the incompatible change to Ruby 2.0. So you can expect that every uh, running 1.9 program run, also runs on Ruby 2.0. And we are going to add uh, some the nifty feature like a keyword arguments or and, uh, some kind of functional programming like some kind of lazy evaluation. It's not like uh, the, Hus the language like Haskell's uh, implicit lazy evaluation, but more explicit lazy evaluation. And we are going to add the uh, method combination to eliminate uh, some kind of ugly the alias method chain in we can we now see in Ruby on Rails by using the method named the module prepend, which prepends the features before the class, so that you can over uh, uh, you can wrap the overwrite the method <coughs> of the class by not um, method in the module. And we are also discussing about adding a selector namespace to, to Ruby 2.0. Selector namespace means uh, some kind of scope module. Right now, the, by in Ruby, you can uh, replace or modify the existing class and methods. But changing the class affects uh, everywhere. It, it's a global change. So you might see you might see the uh, accidental uh, behavior by changing the existing class. But by using the selector namespace, the, the, that kind of the monkey patching, the, the changing the existing class can be scoped into the, some kind of namespace. So the change can affect this, this kind of the, that this particular limited scope, and outside of the scope, the, it's the bucket pass do not have any effect. So that you can safely uh, change the existing class without breaking any other code out of, out of the scope. So we, but yeah, kind of the experiment implementation slows down really a bit, so we are working on the, the making it faster. And the uh, Ruby 2.0 will come on February 20th, the thing which is far away. But, but it's the 20th year anniversary of the language. <laughs> yeah, we will try our best to make it happen on that, on that day.